Track 3 Chief Meteorologist Nick Cowson. It is a chilly morning outside. Uh, temperatures back in the lower 50s. Some of our um, record areas and some of our sites that maybe don't date back as far actually seeing record lows this morning. Now the record low in Carbondale is actually uh, back into the 40s. That all the way back into the 1920s. But Cape Toronto down to 52 degrees. That is a new record low temperature there. Paducah at 54 this morning and uh, that is a new record low temperature there. Down to 51 in Mount Vernon, 53 in Marion, 55 at this hour in Poplar Bluff. There's a live view from Carbondale. We've got uh, quite a bit of sunshine now starting to show up on the eastern horizon. We've got 53 degrees. Those dew points have dropped back in the lower 50s, and uh, there is a very heavy dew outside. Lots of moisture on the grass and a little fog over some of the areas of uh, water, like the rivers, the lakes, as those water temperatures quite a bit warmer than the actual air temperatures this morning. We do anticipate a little warmer weather today. Uh, this afternoon will likely climb back into the upper 80s, pretty close to average for this time of year. We do also anticipate a lot of sunshine will continue to heat up. The humidity also starts to return uh, today. Not too bad. Tomorrow it's going to be more muggy. Same in here for Friday and through much of the weekend. Eventually it does bring us some better rain chances, especially by uh, Saturday and Sunday, expecting a scattered shower, scattered storms just in time, of course, for the uh, holiday weekend. But our uh, main storm track out across the upper Midwest, Iowa, back into northern Illinois and also uh, parts of the southeastern U.S., parts of Georgia, Alabama, actually seeing some uh, storms at, near the Gulf Coast. Around here, pretty quiet, though. Uh, sunny skies this afternoon. Upper 80s for highs, about 87 today into Mount Vernon, about 89 this afternoon in Carbondale. Lower 90s right along I-55, anywhere from, say, Cape Girardeau southward to Sykeston and Kennett, Missouri. And, of course, warmer temperatures in the afternoon means that the evenings won't be quite as cool as what they have been. Still in the mid-70s at 8 tonight and uh, overnight tonight. Not dropping back as much as what we are this morning. We're waking up uh, Thursday morning around 60 degrees. We could see some upper 50s and some rural areas first thing Thursday, but then Thursday afternoon, that's when we start to see the humidity climb back in and also the temperatures making their way back into the lower 90s. Uh, about 92 or so in Mount Vernon, 93 from Carbondale to Harrisburg, and there is a small chance that we could see a pop-up shower, a pop-up storm late in the afternoon, primarily near the Kentucky-Tennessee line. Rain chances will be still pretty low here for the next couple of days. A low to mid 90s. Thursday and Friday a little cooler this weekend. That's mainly because our rain chances are going to be ramping up. A, a cold front will drop in from the north Saturday and Sunday, and that brings some pretty good chances for scattered showers and storms. Pretty active, unsettled pattern. Right now, it doesn't look like a complete washout this weekend, but uh, each afternoon, especially during the heat of the day, we will likely see some scattered showers and storms. So if you do have some outdoor plans, maybe a barbecue or a, a firework celebration coming up this weekend, make sure you're staying up to date and paying attention to that forecast. Once again, I wouldn't cancel plans, but you may want to have a backup plan or plan B because any storms that we do see this weekend could produce very heavy rain and quite a bit of lightning. Some of those storm chances stick around into the early part of next week. That's Independence Day in here on Monday. Scattered storms remain possible as rain chances start to go down. Maybe a pop up shower, pop up storm or two on Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures, though, still into the uh, mid 90s towards the middle of next week. I tell you what, I'll, I don't mind the mid 90s. Actually, I, I've enjoyed the weather. There's only been one or two days it's been too hot. Hey, for me. you know me. I love the heat, love the humidity, but I have to admit, it's been pretty nice over the last. It has. Days. I don't like to hear my grass crunch when I walk out. All right, thanks.